Hey everyone, today I wanted to do a review on this. This is the iSound Pop Drop Mini Bluetooth Speaker. Um, I got this when I was at Walmart the other night. I was looking for a cassette adapter for my car because my old one the wire was going bad so I was getting a new one and I happened to go by the Bluetooth speaker sections and I saw this it comes in a package like so see it says I sound pop drop Bluetooth speaker plus speaker phone and I didn't do an unboxing because, um, oh, there isn't too much inside the box. The back of the box, it just says go anywhere, pop, drop. Um, all that comes inside the, uh, the container on this uh, plastic, like, hard container. After you unpeel it you pull the carton out and then you get the usual instruction booklet right here uh, a catalog of uh, some of their other products like headphones and other Bluetooth speakers and uh, I guess this is a warranty card and that's about it you also get this um, micro USB adapter so that you can charge your eye drop your pop drop I'm sorry your pop drop mini Bluetooth speaker to an outlet or your um, or your uh, laptop to, to charge it okay so that's all you get in that now you might be asking why did I get such a tiny speaker like this well you ever been in a noisy environment like for me most of the times when I'm at the gym and I want to show some friends a video or like one of my training workout videos or a, something funny on YouTube with these uh, smartphones, unless you have uh, an HTC One M8 or M9 or any of the new any of the HTC One phones that have the speakers, both speakers in the front, the Samsung Galaxy phones, your iPhones, they're either the speakers are either here on the bottom or the speakers like on this Note 4 are here in the back. So you tend to do this so that they can hear your um, the sound better because a lot of times when you're trying to show them especially something funny they can't hear the words coming out or the sound coming out so they don't get the joke that's on, that you're watching on uh, YouTube or something else so that's why I decided to get this because this thing for comparisons, this is my Note 4, like I said, and this will fit comfortably in my short pockets, and this one is tiny. It fits comfortably in my pockets, too, and it also comes with this little handle, you know, that you can, or that you can carry it around with. For size comparisons, besides the Note 4, here is my, um my Klipsch KMC1 so you can see the size difference between the KMC1 Bluetooth speaker and this uh, pop drop speaker okay alright so on the back here you have uh, buttons you got your power button here you got your Next, your player pause button, your back button, and your forward button. The way this works is if um, 
if you long press the back button it'll go to the next or go to the previous track if you long press the forward button it'll go to the next track if you if you hit the plus and minus button here like you know you hit it pretty quick like this it'll make the volume louder if you hit the minus button pretty quickly like little like like quick taps it'll make the volume lower and um, so there isn't much to it it also pairs very easily much easier than say the clips here so let's do a sound check and see how it sounds I'm gonna try not to play any uh, copyrighted music I'll probably play some um, <clears throat> mixed music so you guys can hear this I'm gonna turn it on and so there's that little chime to turn on you see the blue light over here blinking and it'll find my Bluetooth um, and there it is it's already paired it's unlike uh, see it is already paired right there pop drop unlike the clips every time you turn on the clips you always have to go into your Bluetooth speaker settings look for the clips right there and hit that before it can pair so this pairs very easily and now let's do a sound check so like I said I'm gonna try not to play any um, any copyrighted music so I don't get that little warning so right now I'm about like a uh, a feet away from the uh, actual small Bluetooth speaker or, or this mini speaker and we're gonna play a few sample mixes some of the mixes that I used on my previous um, my previous um, speaker review so this is the bass test mix extreme Okay. I'm at I'm at 100 just to see how much bass it has so I didn't want to do the unboxing because I wanted to take it out of the packaging and like make sure it was fully charged let me make sure I have this volume all the way up There you go. So this is turning it down. See, I turned it down. I'm going to turn it back up. It's got some pretty clear, good bass for such a tiny little speaker, too. You can feel it vibrate right now. Okay, so that's one. Uh, let's see. Let me try this one. Subwoofer test. Okay, so obviously you're not going to try to rock this out um, when you're out in public or whatnot. You just want to be able to hear pretty decently, at least a little way better sound 
than what's coming from your smartphone and for that it is pretty good uh, I'm gonna play a soundtrack or uh, yeah let's go play a trailer from um, one of those one of the Hercules traders that trailers because it's got some uh, good bass on that I'm gonna turn this off and you guys are gonna hear that trailer again um, without the Bluetooth speaker so you can hear the difference so this is just the back of the Samsung and this is with the speaker facing Toward the listener, if I go like this, I have to do this. Who are you? Right. Are you a murderer? Are you a mercenary who turns his back on the innocent? Okay, we're gonna turn it on again. Every time I turn the speaker back on. Now, tell me, who? Okay, that's enough of that. So I notice every time I turn the, the speaker off and then turn it back on, it plays at default like 50 or 60%. So if you want it to get louder, you have to hit that um, the plus button to get it to go a little bit louder. But it's not a bad speaker. Not bad at all for... Uh, for the price, it, it I got it at Walmart for seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents on Amazon. I'll I'll show you guys the link. You can get it um, for eighteen for this black version, eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents, uh, depending on what colors you get. There's a bunch of different colors that you can get with this uh, pop drop speaker. So, so there's uh, here it is right here on Amazon for eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents. And if you hit that little like for color, you can see all the different colors. There's white, blueberry. The white and blueberry are the cheapest ones for sixteen dollars and thirty two and sixteen dollars and eighteen cents. And then the most expensive one is the yellow lemon drop one for $19.64. So I guess these are all the colors they have. Black, yellow, cherry, bubble gum, which is purple, blueberry, which is like bluish, and then white. So it's not a bad speaker for 17 bucks. And the fact that it's so tiny that you can put it into your pocket and you can answer and make phone calls 
off of this it's got these um, media control buttons here in the back that even this one doesn't have but the thing and this one is a lot bigger and heavier you're not going to be putting this in your pocket but this one you can so you don't have to do this thing when you're trying to show people some funny videos on uh, YouTube or another channel so that's the end of my review this is the I sound this is the I sound pop drop mini Bluetooth speaker Again, you can get it on at Walmart for $17.99 or at Amazon for $18.99 for this one. This is the black licorice color. So that's about it. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.